Hello, I'm Dr. Masha Livitz, an endocrine surgeon at UCLA Health. A common reason that patients come to see us at the UCLA Health Endocrine Center is a high calcium level on a blood test. Our job is to help figure out why the calcium level is high and what we can do to correct it. But I'd like to take a step back and talk about calcium levels in general. When you get a blood test as part of a yearly physical exam with your doctor, it will probably include a calcium level. This is because calcium levels are usually checked as part of a panel of labs with your physical exam. Most patients have a calcium level in the mid eight to low 10 range. The normal range might be slightly different between different people or between different labs. Most of the time, we measure the total amount of calcium in your blood. That is usually the most accurate way to check calcium. About one half of the calcium in your blood is attached to proteins. For people who have poor nutrition or kidney failure, this can affect the total blood calcium level. For these people, checking a test called the ionized calcium may be more accurate. This test will tell us the amount of calcium in the blood that is not attached to proteins. If your calcium level is low, you may have vitamin D deficiency, trouble absorbing calcium in your diet, or kidney problems. If your calcium level is high, we will recheck it to make sure it wasn't a lab error. If your calcium level is still high, more blood tests are needed to figure out the cause. At UCLA Health, any calcium level higher than 10.4 is high. Patients with high calcium levels should be checked for hyperparathyroidism by measuring the blood parathyroid hormone levels. For more information, please call or visit our website. Thank you for watching.